All right, so last time we were able to make our way back to, uh, back to the real world, quote unquote, and it doesn't look too good, which is kind of what happens when you get hit, when a place gets hit by a whole bunch of missiles. But, uh, off camera, I did a bit of looking around just to see what I can do. And there's a couple places that I can explore for a little bit. There's some stuff down, uh... Don't need the volume up that high, I don't think. Uh, and right, yeah, Solarin merged himself with the monster. And yeah, I... Uh, Based off of that, I know where the plot wants me to go. But I'm going to hold off on going doing that just for, for the time being. Uh, I did look here. I didn't look to see what was here, though. And I'm starting to think this is a place I shouldn't be at yet, because one of my uh, monsters got insta-killed. And based off of the experience, yes, I think I don't I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna reset that. Because, yeah, that is definitely not a place I should be at at the moment. Just from the experience I'm getting, that stuff is out of my league. So, obviously, I didn't stick around long enough to actually encounter any enemies, or else I would have known better. And we have that, this whole thing again, which will drain me of 20 health for some dumb reason. These guys are more my speed. four life stones at the moment two full stacks which I think is fine though go ahead and use that just to free up an inventory spot and I'll use some guy to heal Oh, 
Okay, so I can have one more. That was something I should have looked at before. Alright, so this is the area that the other place that I forget the name of now. The place that I was surrounded by a barrier. But, there's a uh, handy dandy tunnel over here. Now we're in here. Uh, Rapunji, right. And from what I can tell, this place is largely devoid of enemies, which is fine by me. Now it's just a matter of what this place has to offer. Never mind. So much for not having any enemies. But, this by itself makes this whole trip worthwhile. Free warp point. So I can get back to, uh, the other place quickly. Unfortunately, it looks like there's nobody here. No wonder I don't remember uh, what was for sale here, because there's nobody here to actually sell me anything. But at least they're all grouped together. Makes it easy to remember where they are. Ponzi is controlled by two men. They call themselves the Black Count, the Red Count, and the Black Baron. With all the time they spend around that little girl. Uh huh. Three of them, you say? Then what the heck did I just encounter? That stairs. Ooh, treasure. Except it's empty. Yeah, I wonder what the significance of that empty hallway is. Might as well at least 
get it marked. And that stair's going down. Nothing there. That's an elevator. And there's three floors. Uh, I get four floors to this place. I not been yet? <sighs> okay. Well, first thing. Uh, hello, Alice. Funny looking big kid. Okay. to remember where the dank terminal was again. Ah, another disco. It's an oasis of violence, uh, oasis of peace within the violent land that is now Tokyo. that they keep locked up. And her name is Alicia. Okay, then. Yep, yeah, that's the, the neighbor girl. But why hasn't she aged? How could this be? I didn't survive the bomb. I died in the blast. Okay. Worships the dead reanimated and kept alive by the Red Count and the Black Baron. Soul incense. I seem to remember something that by that name. I think it was one of those things that I could get from the like by trading in gems or something. Did I go into every spot in here? Yes.
Alright. So the plan I'm gonna go ahead and save and then exp Okay, random person. Go ahead and save and then see see what's going on elsewhere in here. Alright, later some guy. Uh, yep, here we are. That's more stairs going up. It means some guy was poisoned. What the heck caused that? Um, okay. Something tells me I shouldn't be here. I don't think I have the means of getting rid of it, do I? No, okay. Estoma. What is that one? That I don't recognize that one. Oh, it's repel. Okay. Curious as to what's causing the uh, the poison effect. Treasure! Speed incense. Nice. Some really important jar. Okay.
just gonna get out of the poison before... There. Now I'll heal it. So I believe that's everything in here. Not quite, no. And that door is sealed shut. But this, and this is the quickest way out. So I'll just bear through all the poison. Let's see if there's more poison here. Even with the map thing there, I was way too easy to get myself lost. Treasure! Ow! Huh. I see what that did. That, uh, swapped my HP and MP, it looks like. Which, honestly, I'm not... I'm actually kind of cool with that. Because, uh, even with me healing all this back... That's a net gain. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take that for as long as I have it. The Red Count is currently away from his office. Oh, and kick me out. Okay. Topaz.
the elevator. And it appears that is it. Because I can't do anything else here from the looks of it. Well, there is one spot left. Okay. All right, then. Go ahead and take the elevator back down to the main floor. Go ahead and save again. And then head into the basement and see what will probably get me killed. I was going to go get my MP healed up after healing all the poison all that time, but the game kind of pretty much did it for me. Right. Ah, this is where the stairs were. Yes. All right, let's see what unpleasantness we have here. Treasure, and it's a trap. Looks like it did the exact same thing. It just, the last one did, which I'm still cool with because I get even more MP. Okay. Shouldn't be surprised to find a trap that did that. Uh, have a did I already loop around? Yes, it appears I did. Or more like I backtrack myself. Uh oh. Here's the poison again. I find it weird too, but at the moment it benefits me, so I'm not going to argue. Ave I figure eventually it won't benefit me, and then it'll suck.
Oh, hello. We met, Alice. Okay. So yeah, I feel like maybe I should uh, should wait to heal until afterwards. Oh well, hello. So this is starting to get a little worrying. Was this worth it? Um, I don't remember what that was for. I, I think I remember hearing about it. But I don't remember what it was for. Suddenly, I'm a little worried. Okay, made it out. And one last time. And that's that.
I doubt I will have done anything to cause, uh, to cause, uh, any, anyone to appear in the shops at the moment. Transmit to... Shinjuku, I believe it was. Heal myself up. Yeah, the one with my alignment uh, is really cheap. Go ahead and save again, and I guess. Gonna go do what plot wants me to do, and that's to head back to the uh, Yakuza base. I believe that's where the uh, where Gato was. Solarin did the whole monster fusion thing specifically for this. So let's see what happens. Um, I was exploring uh, the the uh, alternate floors in. Uh, and Robin Uji or whatever that was called again. And there were a few traps that it drained my health, but gave me MP. As in above the maximum. And then there was another trap that kind of did the opposite, where I was getting a whole bunch of MP at the cost of my MP. And I'm not sure I, that was kind of a weird thing, but... Oh. Oh, you mean this thing that I just found? Starting to think I did things out of order. Oh, hello, undead corpse. Goodbye.
thing is, I didn't even know I was going to find that. I was just exploring, seeing what I could do before coming back here and doing what I figured was what Plot wanted me to do, but now I don't know. help that I got myself turned around because I forgot that the stairs was were right next to each other the one that had the uh mm, no it was the other one but I can just go across the top Soul incense, that's the one. So then I need diamonds for it, okay. Use this soul incense on Alicia, and then we'll see what happens. Where was the disco again? Okay. Okay. So what did that accomplish then? I don't know. Hmm. 
Well, that did a thing, but I don't know what. again I think she was over here I think No, I'm not sure what I should be doing. The only other place I know of is a place that I really shouldn't be at at the moment. I'm going to presume that the people there's still nobody in the shops. Correct. Feels like it's against my better judgment, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my second save file because I've gone too far to go back and do the chaos route now. Goodness knows I probably won't play this a second time anyway, knowing my history. So honestly, I've already come this far. I'll just go ahead and take the tunnel out. Thing is, I don't think I checked the northeast portion of things, so... I feel like checking that area to see if there's anything, uh...
There we go. Yeah, whatever. not sure what that's all about. How to stop that whole thing from happening. This phase of the moon is probably not the best idea. Step really. Okay. Cool. And uh, nope, nothing there. Oh my. Aren't you something? Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Actually, I think the one I want to take is on the other side, because that's close to the safe spot and the healing spot. But at this point, I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to go. There is the one place that has enemies that are way out of my... out of my... Uh, out of my league. If the... 2,000 experience I got from the first one was any indication. But I don't know where else to go at this point.
So is that where I have to go? I feel like maybe I should check that out. See if I can find where that church is supposed to be. Otherwise, I'm not sure. I am at a bit of a loss as to where I'm supposed to be. To... Or at least somewhere that won't get me killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've actually been to the source of those screams, but goodness knows I couldn't do anything about it then. So... Apparently there's... There's nothing else here. Alright. And just wander around doing nothing until I stumble upon what I should have probably already known about or something. And, uh, I'm going the wrong way. Actually, apparently, looking up the walkthrough, I have to go back to Shinjuku.
Apparently there's somebody in one of these underground areas. All right, fine. Psycho Diver, and I'm the tool to which he achieves that end. When he learned of my psychic power, he more or less made me his slave. Day after day, he forces me to enter the minds of people and twist them to do his will. When I'm not doing that, I'm sitting here caged up like an animal. Do I now? Your spirit is inseparably tied with that of another, your destined partner, so to speak. And that partner is in deep, deep trouble right now. You better go save her as soon as you can. If she gets any worse, your prognosis is not good either. So I'm guessing I need to go back to Shibuya. Oh, hello. Oh, fine. Let's just go. Dang it. This feels like something that I shouldn't be. Ow.
Uh oh. It looks like I can still heal just fine. Makatora, what was that again? goes the cat.
I should not, uh, well, thing is, I didn't, if I had known this fight was here, I never would have come over here in the first place. At least while I have them defend, they can't hurt me. Ah, uh, need to do that. They're not charmed anymore. How much health do you have? Unfortunately, I don't even see it. This is basically this. I think this is akin to a bonus boss. And without the icon at the top, I don't even know. Oh, dang it! I didn't mean to do auto fight. Fine, whatever. Just kill me, darn it. That fight was getting way too an more annoying than it was worth. Thankfully, I saved before doing all that stuff, so. Now I just have to talk to that one guy again. And then I guess go back to Shinjuku and... And then maybe come back here or something? Ow.
Okay. This time, don't ink go into the, uh... The stupid, uh, optional fight. Because that guy hits way too hard. And he makes me hurt myself. Along with it. So, no thanks. So now I just have to remember where the, uh... Where that one girl was chained up. Okay, so I gotta go all the way around. Of course, I'm just being stupid and let the auto fight do its thing, but here I am mashing the B button and it's not doing anything. There we go. But you know what? It's at this at this point, might as well just whatever. Enough! Yay, I leveled. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go back and heal after all that noise. Because that was highly annoying. I'm going to presume that this place isn't up and running yet. Expensive, but I have tons of money, so whatever. Of course, the revival doesn't act didn't actually. Would that have cost a lot less if I had, you know, gone to the one actually aligned with my with me? Yes. But I think I've wasted enough time. Considering how many of these guys I've been fighting, you'd think they wouldn't want anything to do with me.
Of course, now the picture that I'm trying to look at is... For whatever reason, it's tiny. So I can't even make out what the... Uh, Where this thing even is. Uh, actually, I think I do know where it is, though. For starters, get that mapper thing back up and running. Yeah, I'm working on that. Obviously, mashing the B button doesn't really do me much good in trying to stop the auto fight, but I don't think holding B would accomplish much either. Hey, some guy levels. Yep, ah, like I saw that big health jump. Okay. Yeah, I should probably be focusing more on using the gun. The gun does more damage. Well, aren't you an arrogant so-and-so? Uh... Town key is probably more useful just on uh, attacking right now.
Ah, uh, I guess Twitch must have been, uh, being uncooperative or something. Oh, apparently I never opened this one. Okay. Hmm. Everything seemed fine on my end. Of course, I don't watch the chat because... I don't I don't want to risk something bad happening because of that. Uh where exactly am I again? Okay. So the current theory is that now that I've I've talked to the uh, I've talked to the uh, guy that was imprisoned in the Shinjuku basement. And now that I've interacted with the Messiah. Now I'm thinking I, if I go back to Shinjuku, I should be able to do something now. If not, then I don't know what to do. Save, at least save all that experience that I just got.
So... According to the walkthrough, apparently I was supposed to... I was supposed to go to the, uh... Go and fight the thing in the Yakuza base. Or what was what was once that. Ah. But because I have a dang jar, I think I have to get rid of the uh the gust jar or something that I, in order to do that. So, it seems that me doing things out of order has kind of screwed things up. So, looking through this again, I'm wondering if it will actually let me do this in this particular order. Try this then. Feels like I can't actually do anything here at the moment. Yep. Hmm. 
There we go. Exactly, am I at now? Okay. Okay, I definitely did things in the wrong order. I don't know, because it's not letting me, it's not letting me do the, uh, encounter the guy over here, over at the Yakuza base, because I have the jar. I don't know if the game accounted for me doing things in this order. But I think there wasn't there a jar that was available. I think. I think I went up the wrong way. Yeah, I did. Oh well. I should have just gone straight to here after getting the... after Solarin transformed. But no, I had to go explore other things, and now I've got the entire sequence of events me messed up. Uh, so I think... Angel hair... Soma... Ruby for a gushing jar. Do I have a ruby on hand? No, I don't. So, this is making me worry that I've kind of softlocked myself. Because I did things not in the order I was supposed to. And now I can't do anything. Because I can't, like, store items. I can't just push the gushing jar away and then come back and do this. No, I, I would just have to just drop it. Unfortunately, I don't have any rubies that I can use to get it back. And that's the thought. Huh. So what exactly am I supposed to do at this point? Am I softlock now? Until I get uh, until I just if I get rid of my gushing jar now, would I be able to get another one at later? 
I mean, yeah, I would, would I is a ruby that easy to get? I guess that's the that's the main thought. Because I don't know that. Alright, so I guess I don't have much other choice but to fight things in an area where apparently I'm not supposed to, things aren't supposed to be spawning in. have to drop this in order to actually progress. Hopefully I can get a ruby to get another one. Down you go. You didn't really attack much, did you? Isn't Osafune? What is What type of weapon is this? Pretty good, actually.
And Solarin's gone. Okay then. I'm thinking I'll probably come across him again. I had a feeling there would be, uh... Oh, jeez. Uh, I had a feeling that the... That because he suddenly gained a few levels, I had a feeling something was going to happen. Whether he would be brought back down to normal or would be leaving or something. Because stuff like that doesn't just happen. There's got it. There's going to be consequences. And down you go. Although I am noticing if there's enemies out and about now, and I think I'm thinking the uh, the influence that prevented them from being around is gone. Yeah, definitely cheaper. How strong the dwarf is compared to the cat. Oh my yeah! Oh my yeah! some guy levels. Alright. I'll just go back to here. And go grab this guy. Oh, was that when that was happening? Okay, I didn't notice that. That part. All 
All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save having done that. Oh, wrong way. And down you go. Okay, so some guy's defense is 50. So, honestly, I can afford to have some guy in the front. After I took out Gato, Solarin left. Period. That that's all there was to it. Apparently he decided that he didn't need us anymore. I'm more worried about the fact that I had to discard the uh, the gust jar in order to actually proceed onwards. In 
Oh wait, I don't even I don't even have mapping. Wait, no. Some guy has it. So now I'm wondering cuz I know I I can trade in a ruby for one, but I don't know if there's good, if I can get one cuz I don't have one right now. And I don't know if how easy it would be to get one at this point. I'm finding opals, but I'm not finding rubies at the moment. I realize that that might not be relevant for a while, but it still worries me. And it makes me think that I my, I un unintentionally sequence broke and kind of screw things up for me for late, later on. But I guess we'll find out in due time. Order free her, whatever it is, has got to go. Astrally project us into her mind. Okay then. Well, doesn't this look familiar? Okay. And naturally, there are enemies in here. Lamias. Okay. Okay, this is getting a little worrying because if, if it's taking this much to to uh, actually take these things out. Just down to one. There. Jeez. A lot of experience, though. But goodness, that was a fight. Okay, 
These guys seem a bit more, uh, more reasonable, I think. Shot one kill. Two, three, four, and five. Oh, we're going through this again. Makatora, that was the one that allowed me to transfer MP over, wasn't it? Maybe. I guess it helps when I'm only fighting three of them. So far! I don't want to fight five of you! Dang it.
Oh, well, that explains that. That one's back up now. Good. Oh, great, I'm charmed. Fine. I got one. Sukaja, what was that one again? Raising hit rate. Uh, I don't need that. in shock, so he's not attacking.
Can I get away from you? Running doesn't work on you guys. Dwarves and shock. Oh, great. Now uh, you're down. At least the one that I got charmed is still doing work. And one is close to down. So I'm just going to go all out now. Uh, good, thank you. That was not worth that much experience. If only I could actually run away from those things. But no, I can't. Great, I'm charmed now, too. And if you're healing, too... No! I'm... No. <sighs> if I could have gotten away from those stupid Lamias, it would be... Wouldn't be nearly as bad, but no. Not allowed to have nice things. Now I have to walk all the way back through here again. Hello, Omega. Things are being annoying and they're par at least partially my fault. For reasons that I really had no... I, I'm convinced I sequence broke myself into getting rid of an item that I'm probably going to need later. So, yeah, things are going lovely. Because I went to areas that I probably that I apparently shouldn't have gone to yet and got an item, uh, stumbled upon an item that actively prevented me from having an encounter that I was supposed to that I was supposed to have. So I had to get rid of that item, and now I'm worried that when I'm going to need that item later, I won't have the means of getting it again.
Which obviously is all my fault, because I'm supposed to know what when I'm supposed to be doing things. And I went the wrong way. So I know I can... I can trade in a ruby to get another one of those items. But I don't have one. And I don't know how to get one. Okay. I feel better now. Thank you. Don't remember where that was, but that's... I can look into that later. You don't. Badly, this will end up going this time. These guys are fine. I can handle them. These ones I'm more concerned about. Because of that. That hurts. That's one down. And that's two. And that's three. Oh, great. <sighs> Suddenly I can't run away from anything.
numb. Sleep, 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 sleep. Whatever. Can't do anything because they're both charmed. Well, that's two at least. Just one. You know what? Ah. Whatever. And these enemies are just getting highly, highly annoying. No, I don't want to fight you. These guys are fine. These ones are fine too. I guess. My God, dang it. 
Can I have one fight that does, that doesn't end in something stupid? No, I can't. Apparently I don't have the right abilities or something to deal with these things. And that is all my fault. Because, obviously. Because obviously I'm supposed to know that I'm encountering stuff like this. Ah, uh, great. Now there's binding involved. So now, I can't heal because some guys can't do anything. Get out of here. No. Because I can't go more than two steps without getting into a fight. Some guy's not bound anymore. seem to be a bit too much for me.
Yep, one step. I have no idea what that sword is, Solarin. I'm presuming it's a, from a different entry in the series. Just make sure where I'm at. Uh, some guy's right here. Solaren's character decided to leave because he decided he can do just fine on his own now. One step. Starting to think I should be looking into stronger allies, perhaps. Okay. Of course, I don't remember... Wasn't the mansion thing here somewhere? For starters, I'm going to save. Yeah, wasn't the mansion, like, around here or something? Yes! Yes, it was. Foodie. Allows you to escape from any non-boss or non-boss or non-event battle. That sounds like something I want.
Although, it looks like I have to actually revive that last one in order to actually fuse with it. Not gonna do it here because that would be stupid. I'm gonna do it over here where it's a lot cheaper. Be gone. Say unnamed katana. Oh, right. Uh, I never did check to see if this was an improvement. Yeah. Yeah, that's an improvement, all right. Still not as good as the gun, but it's an improvement. to go through that all over again. I don't even know what Estoma is. So, you guys talking about it isn't going to do me any good. Uh... That's not going to help if the enemies are like higher level than me, because I'm convinced that the Lamias are. The Trafuri is definitely tempting, though. Tetracar, what was that one again?
blocks physical uh blocks physical attacks for one turn. That's not bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one. It's an improvement on all fronts, and I can summon it right now. We're a cat, the dwarf. Turns into an elf, which I have already had. Saw that one. Because what does that D mean anyway? Huh. That's something. Can't use it, but it's something. seen that one like five times. So what does that turn what does that symbol mean? Not much. Not much. And that's also no good. Uh...
Probably the same. Nope, that's a different one. Hopefully the increase in att attack power will do me some good. Though I have a feeling maybe going getting stronger monsters might be the order of the day anyway. So either which way, getting through that woman's mind is going to be kind of annoying. But that's going to be it for this time around. But in a couple hours, I'm going to be in a Final Fantasy randomizer race that has some very interesting flags. It's uh, it's all part of the Iron Gall Heavy Metal Championship, which is kind of a pseudo WWE kind of format where you can just challenge people and it's kind of a ladder system and all that stuff. So, And this one actually has some implications in that because the number one contender is in this race, which means that whoever wins this race it takes that spot and can challenge the uh, challenge the champion for the title whenever at some point or another. And the flags are going to be very interesting, part, at least in part because it involves entrance shuffle and floor shuffle and who knows where anything is. So, I guess until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice night.